But TikTok's been around for surprisingly five years now. It feels like longer and shorter at the same time. As most of y'all know, TikTok blew up when the world was sent into massive isolation. People had nothing better to do than to watch hours and hours and hours and hours of short videos. Hi, I'm, I'm people. <laughs> yes, I did waste my life away on videos to which one I can't even name. That's embarrassing. To say that TikTok blew up is an understatement. It seems like overnight the entire world was on this app. This this is what happens whenever whenever billions of people have nothing else to do. And from this amazing holy app blowing up, we got beautiful trends that really added to this world, like the coronavirus challenge, the filing your teeth down challenge, and most importantly, WAP. From the top, make it drop. TikTok users clearly create things. So today we're gonna take a deep dive into some of those things. We're gonna be reviewing and kind of diving into some of the best and worst hair TikTok trends. God, this is about to be a cursed video. We're gonna start off with a kicker, the bowl cut trend. Bowl cut originated long before the internet was even an idea. It actually originated around 12th to 15th century Europe. It started because it's like one of the easiest haircuts to make. It's a plain, simple haircut where the hair is cut straight across the forehead and then the same length all the way around the head. This has pretty much been a simple, straightforward haircut since the beginning of time. And according to the internet, because the internet is 100% true all the time, because trust me, this haircut may have originated by people finding pots and pans that were around head shape, putting those pots and pans on the head and then using that as a guide to cut around. TikTok um, put that idea to the test. Okay. So as you can see, they are using a bowl to cut the hair and they have some razors that they're going around with. I think that his bowl in particular was too high on the head. It just looks very top heavy. Yeah, his bowl was just too small. So this guy looks like he has a bowl that's lower place on the head. It does look like they have the bowl crooked, but I mean, it could just be the angle. We good? Oh. <gasps> He's honestly giving me Edna vibes. So far, I am not liking it. Okay, this bowl actually fits his head beautifully and they're being very meticulous on how they do it. I feel like this one's not gonna turn out that bad. Wait, why does this actually kind of look good? Yeah, look, this is very even. Whoever's doing it, it's very, I'm not gonna say talented because <laughs> it doesn't take talent. They're being very thorough with it. I think this one looks a lot better than the other ones because it's even, I think. Why is this growing on me? This should not be happening. Okay, now we have a girl who, I guess she's cutting her bangs. Yeah, that, that is not a look. I would not um, do that ever, ever. I think she has a clip-in, luckily. <laughs> I can't see anyone actually doing this. Oh, he went to the store to find the perfect bowl. A man of culture. He's cutting literally all of his long hair off for a bowl cut. That's kind of sad. But it's very satisfying how they're just like perfectly doing it. I think I like the visuals of this one the best. Way it kind of looks really good. And I also think it's his hair type that makes it not look bad. He has very thick hair, so it doesn't just lay on his head. I'm gonna rate this trend maybe a five out of 10. I don't necessarily think it's terrible. I don't know, using the bowl as a guide kind of is accurate. It was fairly straight with the bowl. So if you're doing it at home, it is a pretty good, it is a pretty good way to go. If you truly wanted a bowl cut and you actually wanted to do it with a bowl, I think the best thing that you could do is what the last guy did and go to the store and find a bowl that perfectly fit your head so that you don't have a bowl cut that's like up here. <laughs> so our next trend that we're gonna be talking about is hair horns. Hair 
Hair horns are basically where you add little devil horns in your hair made out of your own hair. Now, devil horns originated, well, with the devil. Satan's reign of terror has made its way to white girl TikTok. It's sad on his behalf. Do better, Satan. <laughs> So basically in this trend, they get two pieces on the top of their hair, the most prominent pieces on your hair, and they cut them. She just like chopped it. She didn't even take in consideration, even to make them even, she just chopped it. I just, I can't, I can't fathom why she would do that. And it's not small chunks, it's, it's huge chunks. Oh God, it's like right on top of your head too. It's not like they're going in and doing it, which would make more sense. They're doing it right here. <laughs> and you get gel or straightener and you style it up like this. That is not a look. It's just not. Hers is so bad. That is going to take an eternity eternity to grow out. I mean, imagine my entire hair was cut like this and then the grow out process, it's going to stick straight out, especially if you have straight hair. At least she cut hers a little longer. See, that makes more sense because you want them not to come from right here. You would want them to kind of go out, which also gives you a little grace with the hair growing out process. I'm interested to see like how these look when they're not styled. I was completely right. I mean, it looks like they just stick straight up. And I mean, you have to deal with that for the next like year, just for this trend. I don't get it. Okay, so this girl has the wolf cut. She already has like the pieces naturally that short. So she can just, this looks so good. And look how long they are. Like they look so good that long, but it's because she has the wolf cut and it doesn't stress me out. I don't have the fear that they're gonna have to have their hair stick straight out of their head every single morning when they wake up. They probably do because they have a wolf cut, but like this just looks so good on her. This really works good on shorter hair or on hair that you have tons of layers like a wolf cut or a mullet. For girls with long hair that aren't normally gonna style the horns every single day, I would rate this trend a two out of 10. Actually, no, I would rate this trend a one out of 10. How many young girls with long hair ruined it just to do this trend for like one second and to get probably max 10K views, you know? For the girls with like a lot of layers, shorter hair, mullets, wolf cuts, whatever, 10 out of 10, it looks great. And lastly, we're gonna talk about actually my all time favorite trend on TikTok, the wolf cut. It's kind of like a mix between the 70s shag and the 80s mullet. It's God's gift to this earth. If I didn't have curly hair, I would get a wolf cut. It's like our own modern day version of vintage hairstyles. I really like it. And according to the internet, other people do as well. Google searches for this cut has gone up 100% in 2020. And a big part of this is probably due to Billie Eilish posted of her hair in a kind of wolf cut that like broke the internet and got a million likes in like less than six minutes. Unpopular opinion, I really kind of didn't like her hair. I don't know why, I think it was the color, but don't hate me. TikTok decided to figure out how to do this on their own at home and of course with household scissors. This is the first video that I saw and a good bit of y'all probably saw this video as well. Whenever this first happened and we got to this point of the video, I was like, there, there is no way. Why is this girl doing this? Like I had no clue what, what this was even going to look like at all. Didn't think it was gonna look good. But then this moment happened and I was absolutely blown away. I remember just being like, I'm about to go find some scissors and do this right now. No thoughts, just action. Good thing I decided to do some research before. I saw that she did a 360 of her hair. So it looks good from the front and then you go to the side and immediately you can tell that it is extremely choppy, but not in the good way. It just kind of, there's like a layer right here and then it's just hair. Yes, the wolf cut's supposed to be choppy, but it's more supposed to be feathery choppy like this person. And this is a shorter look, but it feathers into each other. And just to back up my argument, here's another girl who did it. 
She has longer hair as well, really long thick hair, and they did feather it out a little bit at the end at least. But as you can tell, that is just one chop right here and then it's just straight. Take a little bit more time than just bringing it on the top of your head and cutting straight across. I found some videos of some people who did the trend but took a little bit more time. So this girl takes it, just does the base cut. She's using household scissors, guys. Do not use household scissors. Household scissors will pull, break, damage, and give your hair split ends. It's basically just doing a line of split ends. It is always a bad idea. Just go to the store and find scissors made for cutting hair. Anyway, this girl does it in multiple layers. It looks so, so much better. You can very, very clearly see that there's different layers. It looks feathered together. It looks really good. Whereas the other ones, they just had one chop right here. So if you do this trend, it doesn't always look bad and choppy. You're just gonna have to take more time and add different layers to it. I did wanna see what this looked like professionally. So I found this one girl who did it. Her hair is like really long. She asked her stylist to do this. And as you can see, this is really what the wolf cut's supposed to look like. It's very feathered, it's very layered. It looks bigger on top, thinner at the bottom. It looks really, really good. It's sad because this trend, the wolf cut is so, so, so good. But just pulling your hair all to the top and then with household scissors is possibly the worst idea that you could ever do. It's deceiving though because from the front, it looks good because you just see all the But whenever you turn to the side, you clearly see that it's not the best. If it were not for how much I love wolf cuts, this trend would be like three out of 10 because this popularized the look of wolf cuts, which I love to look at. <laughs> um, that's gonna bump it up some. I'm gonna rate this trend a six out of 10 because get them, please get a wolf cut. But doing it at home with household scissors Definitely not a good idea.